touchscreen menu. In this video, we will show you the touchscreen menu and parameter settings of DJI RS3 Pro. On the home menu, you can find icons for auto-tune, balance status, gimbal mode, and gimbal follow speed. On the top status bar, you can check camera connection status and battery level. Tap the icon for gimbal auto-tune. On the auto-tune page, three values respectively refer to motor stiffness of the tilt axis, roll axis, and pan axis. Stabilization modes include normal and super smooth. Normal stabilization can meet the needs of most shooting scenarios. Super smooth mode is suitable for moving scenarios, like jogging or shooting from a moving vehicle. Tap Auto-Tune to start Gimbal Auto-Tune. You can also press and hold the M button and the trigger simultaneously to begin Auto-Tune. You can also manually change the motor stiffness of the three axes. Tilt the gimbal right or left 15 degrees to check the balance. If progress bars of all three axes are green, the balance is good. Yellow indicates that the gimbal's balance is slightly off. Red indicates the gimbal is poorly balanced. The gimbal mode icon is on the bottom left of the touchscreen. In FPV mode, you can change to other modes, 3D Roll 360, Portrait, or Custom on the touchscreen. Tap the follow speed icon on the bottom right. You can choose fast, medium, slow, or custom follow speed. Slide down from the top of the home menu to enter the control center. In control center, you will find, tap the upper left icon to lock the screen to prevent accidental touches that affect operation. Slide up to unlock. Tap the upper left Bluetooth icon for Bluetooth connection. Tap connect, and the gimbal will link with your camera via Bluetooth. Certain camera models like BMPCC require a linking password. After successful linking, the Bluetooth icon will turn blue. Tap the silent mode icon to turn off notification sounds. On the settings page, you will find from top to bottom, disable selfie. If disabled, selfie mode will not be entered if the trigger is pressed three times. Orbit follow. Once enabled, when you shoot while circling a subject, the gimbal delivers smoother movement. Auto lock. Choose whether to enable automated axis locks and the corresponding actions when powering on or entering sleep mode. Push mode. Enable to manually adjust the tilt and pan axes. Horizontal calibration. When the gimbal's leveling is slightly off, you can choose horizontal calibration or try manual fine tuning. Focus motor input. When using a focus motor for follow focus and focusing, you can calibrate the focus motor or manually set or disable the endpoints. Gimbal Auto Check. Tap to analyze and output hardware status information of the gimbal. Restore parameters. Reset gimbal parameters in Bluetooth. Language. Supports 12 on-screen languages, including English, simplified Chinese, and traditional Chinese. Device Info displays information like device SN, device name, and password. Firmware Version Check firmware versions of the stabilizer and the connected accessories. Slide up from the bottom of the home menu to enter the Gimbal Settings page. On the Gimbal Settings page, you will find Joystick Speed. You can set the joystick speed to fast, medium, slow, or even enter a custom value. Joystick Smoothness you can set the joystick smoothness to high, medium, low, or enter a custom value. The higher the value, the smoother the joystick, and the more slowly the gimbal stops after the joystick is released. Front dial. Set the function of the front dial to control focus motor, focus zoom, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, roll axis, hand axis, or tilt axis. Front dial speed. Set the response speed of the front dial. Front dial smoothness. Set the smoothness of the front dial. Reverse dial. To reverse the previous setting for the dial. M button. Can be customized to lock, unlock the touchscreen, take a photo, or LiDAR AF-MF. 
Swipe from right to left to enter Intelligent Feature Settings page. Swipe from left to right to enter the Video Transmission page. When the gimbal is not connected to any video transmission device or LiDAR rangefinder, it will display no video input. When the gimbal is connected to the DJI video transmitter, you can achieve functions like remote monitoring, recording playback, and motion control on the DJI Hybrite remote monitor. When connected to the Ronin image transmitter, you can check the camera view on the touchscreen and the Ronin app, and use functions like active track and motion control. When connected to the LiDAR rangefinder, you can achieve use functions like autofocus and active track pro.